Well, first of all, thank you very much indeed for joining us today. We really appreciate you taking the time and congratulations. Tell us a little bit, I mean, it's a breakthrough that you, you, you won it for. Tell us a little bit about the breakthrough. There was a long-standing puzzle about certain two-dimensional systems where rigorous theory seemed to say that there could be no ordered state and no phase transition, but some experiments uh, showed said quite definitively there is a phase transition so that was a puzzle that needed some explanation and it needed explanation from a, a completely different point of view because standard wisdom couldn't solve that problem and like the person who didn't know the problem is insoluble went ahead and solved it. Well, that sounds, that sounds extremely exciting. What, what are the implications for, for, for solving that problem on quantum physics? Yeah, well, I was working a little bit after David and David Fowlis and Mike's work. Uh, I was working on an apparently completely different problem to do with understanding quantum magnetism and little chains of atoms, which seemed a very kind of abstract problem, but people put a lot of work into it. And I realized there was a different way to view things, and I borrowed actually some important ideas by translating into quantum mechanics uh, some of the work that uh, Mike and David had done in two dimensions into one space, one time dimension. And basically I found there was a topological structure in these quantum states that hadn't been noticed. And in fact, when viewed more deeply, that some it predicted some other thing, other behavior was completely unexpected. It was very controversial at the time because it really overturned uh, what people thought was going on. Underlying all this is a, is a principle of quantum entanglement in quantum mechanics, turns out to be the key theme in this topological matter. And uh, this was something that Einstein proposed. He thought, in, he pointed out quantum mechanics had the property of entanglement, and he thought it was so crazy, this was the obvious way to, to, to disprove quantum mechanics, which he didn't really like at all. But of course, when it was tested after, long after his death, it was actually the entanglement properties were true and correct and they've, in, they've, in recent years they've grown from something which was a kind of curiosity that philosophers of quantum mechanics would discuss into realizing it's actually a property of matter and in fact that many people believe it's going to be the fuel to drive quantum information processing in the future. Well it sounds like it. Yeah. <coughs> Finally, what, what, what are you going to work on next? There's a problem that I've been <coughs> obsessed with which has nothing to do with uh, this sort of work but it's a problem, question of the stability of certain out of equilibrium states. I'm still obsessed with it, let's put it that way. Well, best of luck with that. And thank, thank you. you both very much indeed for joining us. We yeah. really appreciate you taking the time. Thank you. And again, many congratulations. Thank you. Very thank much. You.